Another one. There's a hot one out there today, folks. Why are they bad? Um, here to let you know what happened on Loan Season 8, Episode 7. Five people remain for that $500,000, folks. Um, Coder, um, he showed us his stash of mushrooms he's gathered for <laughs> this competition inside of a shelter. And he's got them hanging up above, like, in necklace shape, style, rope and wire, different types of mushrooms. He says some of these are poisonous, some are not. Um, holy crap, he's got a lot of mushrooms scattered. Um, he insulated his shelter because snowfalls arrived now, folks. So now they got to deal with the colder weather and the snow. Um, and as he was gathering branches, cutting them down, um, the snow kept falling off of them onto the back of his neck and all that. And he didn't like that one bit. Um, he checked into that huge freaking fish trap he made. Had no luck. So he reset it, dropped it right back down in the water. And he tried some fishing, uh, just noosing like a branch. I mean, a log, I'm sorry. Stick, whatever you want to call it. Some wire. A shiny silver layer thing he made up. And he caught two rainbow trout. And he paddled back on that boat of his back to his campsite. And going to cook the fish up. And he reset the fish trap, like I said, too. Um, now on to Bickle. Um, he also insulated his shelter before the snow happened. Unlike Coder, he waited till the snowfall arrived. Bickle did his beforehand. Smart thinking there, Bickle. Um, his fortress is so freaking huge, his shelter. I mean, it's like a fortress. Um, he did a Gollum Lord of the Rings expression to kill some time. Or he boiled up some water and something inside of it and some kind of soup he made. Um, and he made that stone chimney. Like Jordan, um, Teresa's made. And, um, while doing it, while gathering rocks on the shoreline, he slipped and hurt himself, but he's okay. Um, Rose, um, while out gathering stuff, she, uh, found an old rusted up bear trap. And she decided to take that back to her campsite to help her out with the bear trouble she's had. And yet again, a bear showed up around the shoreline, close to her shelter area. She freaked out again, panicked. I don't blame her one bit, because if I came close to a freaking bear, I'd be freaking out too. Um, she had that tap out button, ready to press it, but she didn't. She toughed it out, folks. She's still in the competition. Um, and now she's got that bear trap to help out on her campsite with, so in case bears show up. Um, Teresa. Oh, I'm sorry, Rose Oso checked her snares um, and caught her snowshoe hair. She cooked that sucker right up, skinned it, ate the rabbit heart, where it apparently helps you um, um, decrease the anxiety and depression. And she loved that rabbit, the meat off of that. She enjoyed her meal. Don't blame her one bit. It's free one day. She finally had something good to eat. Um, Teresa. Um, now about her. Um, her fishing area, she can't catch no fish. She's having a hard time, so she's going to try something else. Um, she gathered some beer berries, put them in an old rusted up can to store them. She pulled up some roots. Um, she went further into the woods, and she lost her way. She can't remember which way she came in. Um, she started freaking out, panicking. And um, then she looked around, calmed herself, and realized, hey, that looks familiar. And she started walking that way. She realized uh, other scenery. They looked for Mary. And she found her way back to the campsite. Um, she decided to set some kind of different fish trap. Um, even though she's having a hard time fishing. Um, and she swam way far out in the water. She had uh, one of those things you put around your neck. That's like a flotation device. Where I accidentally got activated. And it got tangled up in the paracord wire she was using. And she spent 35 minutes in that cold, freezing water. She finally got to shore. And she ended up quickly going to the campsite, setting up a campfire, and try to get warm. And while doing so, um, she showed her thigh and his red blotch marks. Um, she suffered first degree burns while trying to get warm. But she's okay. She's still toughing it out for that $500,000. Now on to Clay. Um, 
He knew the deer head and skinned it. And he knew the old um, Native American decoy they call it deer head trick. He stopped it for some marsh and that. And apparently he's supposed to help the animals around calm or something like that. That's pretty neat how he did it. That was pretty cool. And it looked pretty cool that the deer head now all stuffed up. He's got that in his shelter. And he's got the bone of the deer head also mounted on his shelter as well. Um, during one of the nights, um, while he was showing, uh, I mean, while he was sleeping, he heard something outside of his tent. He got out, but the time he got out, it was gone. So the next day, he started looking around, and there was fresh bear tracks. Luckily, they went past the smokehouse he has set up by his shelter a ways that has all the deer meat stored in it. So now he's like, where freaking bear, black bears around, and he showed us, like, how to tell the difference between a grizzly bear track and a black bear track which i liked uh, so he decided you know what this beer is not getting my deer meat so he um took some rope and wire and he set it around the shelter and the place where has the deer meat stored at and he set up to the deer horn the bear horn so if something triggers that rope and wire that horn's gonna go off and he's gonna be alert and know something's around his campsite um, he's showing us that he's eating at least two ounces of deer meat a day. He's going to ration it as best as he can, but he wants to eat more. Like he said, I don't know how long this is going to be, how many days I got to do this. So I got rationale and play it smart. And he cooked up some more deer meat and I'm going to have some deer jerky, beef jerky there. Um, so there you have it, folks. The five people are still in it and it's past 30 days now. They have passed the 30 day mark. So let me know below how many days you think they're going to go. And also let me know below if you're watching the show who you think is going to be the next to tap out. Is it going to be Becco, Rose, Teresa, Clay, or Coder? They're the five that's left. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.